Hi guys, uh, so as many of you asked me uh, to also show how to install Python, so let's go through that. Uh, it's more or less a simple process, but there are some things uh, that you might uh, need to be aware of if you're doing it for the first time. So uh, firstly, uh, go to python.org slash downloads. Over here, you will see the latest available Python version. Right now, it is 3.9.6, so we download that. Once it is downloaded, you run the file. Now over here uh, we have two options for installation. It is simpler one to use the default one but do remember to check this box add Python 3.9 to path. So it lets you uh, run Python from the command prompt and it really saves us a lot of hassle later on. So it's good to just check this in the beginning. Then install say yes So it will take a couple of minutes to install that. So now once this is done, uh, setup was successful, you can close this over here. And next thing to do for really to uh, actually code and uh, run your program, it's good to have a text editor. So usually I use this one. Um, Atom. So you can go to atom.io, um, download the latest version here as well. So once you have that you can install it and uh, then you can code in Atom. Uh, that uh, that makes it uh, things, things much much easier. So I'll show you, I'll just show you a simple uh, command in Atom as well. Let it download first. Now it's done. Um, let's install Atom as well. Okay, now it's being installed. Now, after installation, it will launch by itself. So, here it is. You have your text editor. So um, now if you want to um, make a code here, for instance, I want to just start with the latest, uh, simplest one, <laughs> hello world. And you have to save it as a Python file. So I do a save as uh, hello.py. You do it like this. And now you want to run it. So you can go to the same directory where we have saved it. So. and you can see that uh, whatever I wrote over here now it's printed over here that means our uh, Python is installed successfully and Atom uh, we can use Atom text editor uh, to run our code so uh, that is a simple a simple version of installation of Python and just uh, after this one you can refer to my next video next session which in which I explained how we can do some basic coding and how we can use that um, basic coding to convert it into something uh, more like a tool where we discussed about how we calculate 5G throughput after taking inputs from the user um, based on the network configuration. So go through that as well. I think that will really make you understand uh, some of the basic aspects of Python coding and how we can use it for practical purposes. Thank you. Have a nice day.